Hey, welcome back, welcome back. This is your boy Lucky Me here, and this is episode 10, Hood Cooking, ladies and gentlemen. And we're here live, Elmira, New York, and um, this is a special edition. You know, happy birthday to Victoria Raven. And so we got here on the grill, Mr. Julian Raven. Good man, what we got going on here? As you can see, ladies and gentlemen, he has the good burgers. But as you see, he has the good forming grill. The he, you heard him, he said the forming grill. He said it twice, so you know it's a good thing. Um, he got the fat coming out the bottom. So that's the healthy thing about it. You know, we're keeping it healthy. Summertime is right around the corner. You know, you want to go on the beach and hang out and stuff. All right, over here we got... Hello, Gl everyone. Gloria Raven here, and she has the vegetables on deck. Miss, Miss Raven, can you let people know how important vegetables are? Vegetables are very important for your diet. You must eat vegetables. It gives you good digestive processes. But what I'm doing today is I'm making shish kebabs. Shish kebab, you heard it. This is your little wooden shish kebab stick. Ow. Pointy on one end, dull on the other. And what we're going to do is we're going to take some nice meat. We have some speedy chicken here. Speedy chicken? What is that? This is chicken that is pre-marinated. Lupo's Speedies. Wow. We are going to put on this shish kebab stick some of the chicken, some onions, some peppers, a little mushroom, a little red tomato, a little piece of garlic, and even a pineapple because this is a Hawaiian luau barbecue birthday party today. We're having a little Victoria. She's dancing, ladies and gentlemen. She's dancing. Victoria. <laughs> <laughs> she, she loves the camera. Right? She's a big ham. So, so oh, Mr. Raven. So, Julian, wash you know, your you hands. You wash your hands. You though. must wash your hands. <laughs> after you I blow your sneeze. nose. But you use the tissue. Yeah, it's still. It's crumble up. You wipe your nose with that. You said it's wet tissue. It's as spotless as you can see. We don't believe that. Okay, the now, don't believe that. see this? Knives are very important. Most people do not know how to use a knife or cut with a knife. Always when you cut with a big knife like this, you should keep the point of the knife on the table and then chop it. You rock the knife down over the food. Watch. See that? Look at that. Very Look nice. at that. You want to show that again? Sure. Watch this. And so play you put the, the point of the knife on the table and you rock the blade right like that. Look at that. Without going like this because the more this will give you an opportunity to chop your little fingers off. And then, you know, that's what happened in my first cooking class <laughs> when, I, when I lost that one. See? That's because of the big knife. Okay. So, again, blade and slice. Very nice. Just rock that blade. Okay. I would like to show you one of the shish kebabs assembled. So let's open our little speedy chicken here. Speedy chicken. Let's get a little bowl. We have to find a little bowl. Now that's the end of my work counter here. We have a little bowl. The phone is ringing. Julian? Oh, now you want to try to open this without cutting your finger, as I said. Let's see if we can use the same principle. Of, mm. Folks, we're five, four, three. Two, one. We're back again at Hood Cooking, and this is Gloria, the guest, and Julian. And here is what the shish kebabs look like right before you grill them. And here, voila, are what the shish kebabs look like while they're on the grill. Look at that mouth-watering succulents. Special, ladies and gentlemen. With a little pineapple, we got green pepper, garlic, yellow, red pepper, mushroom, onion, some meat, and a tomato. Don't you feel hungry? This is like, like, ladies and gentlemen, you do, you do not want to touch it with your bare hands like the, like the young gentleman did on there, but uh... You test to see if the meat's done. That's how you test to see if it's cooked. By the, by the, tench, the, tench, the texture of the chicken. Delicious. Where did Mike go? So, Ms. Raven, would you like to, uh, Look at about that. to end this thing off? Would you like to give some words of encouragement? Or? Yes, watch out for that sharp point. I made my finger bleed. I had to put a glove on. And um, just have fun. Use your favorite food when is, yeah, making your shish kebab. This is episode 10. You want to give a health tip? You know, a health cool? tip? Eat healthy every day. Serving of fruits and vegetables every day. Cut down on the saturated fats. And um, don't forget to pray. 
before you eat. And to thank the Lord for all this good things that he made. That he made. Just remember that. Thank the Lord. Did you, did you watch The Privileged Planet? Like, so this has been her cooking. Let you yeah. take it. We got a net. Yeah. You requested me to rap on this, you know what I'm saying? So I got you, you know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna give you a freestyle, some light, you know what I'm saying? Some light. Yeah. Yo, I sit back, I smoke a blunt, saliva build up like foam. I sit my soul to eat some chips, waiting for the game to come on. I'm sniffing coke, one dollar bill, name scroll through my phone. Mike's fighting in the corner, my little man just came home. Baby mama making grits and eggs, cashing in her food stamps. I wanna leave her, but I can't. Love my son, love her sex, life ain't beautiful. I can't turn on the TV. Insecurities of model chicks, no MTV, yeah, no BET. My haters, my inspiration I'm ducking, I'm penetrating I'm global, no exaggeration I'm sexing, they masturbating They wasting my time When I rap, I speak my mind Playing with this fucking music Let you die